Good morning, friends. Coach Josh here. It is a beautiful sunrise in Portland, Oregon. It's eight o'clock and I'm having a great morning so far. And I thought I'd come at you today with the story of, um, of bouncing back in uh, 2021 and what you're going to need to carry with you that's going to uh, make it a lot easier. And the surprising ingredient to a successful bounce back or just a lot of daily success in general is compassion. And it's funny because uh, one of the things that I, I've gotten over the past few weeks is uh, people are saying like, hey man, you seem like you really bounced back quickly. And um, I just certainly doesn't feel like that. But one of the things I think is uh, is instrumental to the uh, success that I've had in terms of my mindset and like staying positive and staying proactive is uh, compassion and um, giving myself lots of time and also not um, having very, not expecting a lot. You know, I wasn't, um, you know, when things uh, started changing for me in the summer, like I, I wasn't expecting that I was going to have everything figured out. And I was expecting to take time to feel shitty and to grieve and to be pissed off and to not, you know, do a good job at taking care of myself or getting to the next step, whatever that is. And I think um, because I was, I didn't, add a lot of my own personal friction into into the process i was able to just tackle things directly and they're like it was messy and, and and shitty and it wasn't like easy or anything like that but also um I, you know i i was able to just to get on with my life and to, and i'm still figuring it out but my point is just that i don't have expectations of myself as to how fast i accomplish something or how how um, how uh, decisive I am uh, about things. But what I do is um, I, I set an intention and I give myself permission to explore and to figure things out and to take my time. And what that, that does a lot, that does a lot of things outside of just, you know, making it easier to be myself and to be human, like going easy on myself. Um, it actually, it, it actually helps, helps me move faster. And the reason that is, is because, if you think about um, one of the things that we do when we beat ourselves up is we we add friction to every every moment of our life. You know, resistance, friction. It costs us energy, right? You're you're taking the time to like uh, beat yourself up over not working out or you know not working out as hard as you could have, and um, that just reduces your energy and focus in the moment. And that friction just adds up, just that 1% drag all day long that ends up being quite a bit of lost energy. And so by, you know, giving yourself a, a break and, and being on your own side, you're reducing that friction. And then it self-compassion reduces the costs of decision-making. Because when you beat yourself up, you become unconsciously afraid of making decisions. And if you think about this uh, ever happening in, in your in your life in terms of uh, your relationship with a coach or an authority figure, a boss, if you make a mistake around your boss, your boss explodes and freaks out or the coach yells at you and benches you, well, you're, you don't want to make any more mistakes. So what, what happens is you, you, you become risk averse. You stop taking taking risks, you stop making decisions that, that you might fail at, which is, you know, most things that you take on, you might not do well, uh, because you're a human being who makes mistakes. So, you, you know, if you're beating yourself up, the cost of decision making gets higher and higher and higher. And eventually you find yourself in an intractable mess. And, and, uh, you know, it's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Um, but, you know, a lot of times we don't even know how we got there. And uh, it starts with, in my, in my opinion, starts with self-compassion and, and giving yourself empathy and context and not taking on other people's uh, POV too much. Um, and then just giving yourself, you know, a break, um, understanding that what you're going through is normal and, uh, and, and that you're literally doing the best that you can. 
uh, it also just makes you a happier person, you know, because you don't walk around feeling like you let yourself down or that you're letting other people down and your, your step is a little bit lighter. Um, you're not so fragile. You don't take things as seriously. Um, you take things as seriously as they need to be, but, uh, it's, you're, you're just a happier, easier person to get along with. And if you can do one thing for yourself now and forever, uh, it would be, I would say, please give yourself a break. Uh, that is the gift that the world needs is compassion. That's the gift that you need. It's free. I promise you, you will not regret, you will not regret it. Uh, even if you don't like getting things, uh, buying things for Christmas, get yourself some compassion. Uh, it's, it's pretty wonderful stuff. Um, I'll give it to you. I'll be compassionate to you for you because I love you. I want you to succeed. I also want you to be happy. I want the people around you to be happy. And I want you to have a pretty awesome day. All right, Coach Josh, getting on with my day. Hope you're uh, going to crush life and enjoy yourself. I will talk to you very soon.